Hello everyone. I know I look like a complete idiot with this on my head, but I'm sort of in the middle of dyeing my hair, re the roots and stuff. So please excuse me looking just ridiculous. Um, and this on my head, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, this is going to be a tutorial for a Halloween bullet wound or for making scars or anything like that. I'm speaking too fast, but in this video I'm going to be making a bullet wound, but you could use the same techniques to make a scar or anything like that. Um, here's one I did earlier on my hand, but it's a bit dark. I don't really want to go that dark, but you can do if you want to. See, it's 3D. Um, so yeah, I didn't use any um, prosthetics, liquid latex or anything like that. I just used a glue stick. So this is great if um, you can't get your hands on liquid latex or you haven't got the money or, excuse me, or if you're allergic to latex. So um, I'll show you how I did this. It's not exactly how. I've had it like this for a while because I did it and then thought, oh, I want to do my hair because I'm going out tomorrow. So, did it. So, it's sort of, I've had it on for a while. Um, but yeah, I've got my tweezers here and the back end of my tweezers and I'm going to scrape off. I'm going to show you what I did here on the back of my hand right here. Scrape off a load of glue and plonk it there or plonk it, put it, put it wherever you want to create the scar or bullet wound and then you want to make a mound if you're doing a bullet wound and you want to fade the glue out So it's like a um, gradual, I hope you can see what I'm doing, like a gradual um, slope, I suppose, to the centre of the mound. Can you see that? And then, to create the bullet hole, you want to take the end here, wiggle it about a bit, and pull it apart with the ends of your tweezers and pull it up can you see? can't really pull it up so it looks like skin's been you know ripped or whatever so something like that and then what I do is I get my hair dryer, I do that for a bit, then I go off and do something, then I come back. Um, it does take a fairly long time to dry, I would say half an hour to an hour. But if you're applying heat then it dries, and then it dries hard, which is great. This is hard. There you go, something like that. Right then. First thing I'm going to do is on this, I'm going to take my foundation and a sponge. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as I can. And let me try and zoom in. I'm going to put my foundation on. There we go. Now I'm going to take a press powder um, that matches my foundation and a brush and go over that. Like that. Then I'm going to take my 120 palette 
and a fluffy brush and take a yellow Tough of, and we're going to create like the bruising because if you've just got shirt in the head oh I've got rubbish on the end of this brush because I didn't wash my brush um, because when obviously if you get some sort of wound you get bruising and it usually goes like a yellow colour on the outside it doesn't have to be neat because bruises aren't neat are they? right then I'm going to create the um, colour on the inside now and I've got two things here I've got a red um, eyeliner, lip liner and a brown eyeliner and I'm going to get the lip, red lip liner and completely get this And try and get it on the insides of um, the glue, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now you can put some of this around and then we'll blend it in. Right now. Just blend it. And then we can go over it. And then with the brown, you want to. bit of the brown there and I want to put brown on the top of here so it looks like the skin's been scorched where the bullet's gone in burnt the skin and put it a bit around here like that take my fluffy brush again and my 120 palette and take a bright red mixed with a brown and then bright red, brown, tap off brown a bit of black you want to concentrate the black around I'm going to get some black in this, in the actual hole here, like that. Now, um, another colour you get with bruising is sort of plummy colours, you won't be able to see that probably. Plummy, purpley colours. Basically, it's just creating a mess of um, bruising colours. And the only way you can sort of do it is by messing around and seeing what colours you like best. A bit of blue, maybe. And you don't want, you want to do a little bit at a time. Red isn't coming out that well. It looks good if um, you've done full horror makeup. So, like, um, I did it the other day when I put green pigment in with my foundation and mixed it in and then did more scars here and it really um, worked well right then I've got this ready pinky blush and I'm going to take some of that on this brush and add it around here and 
the other thing I um, like to do is I've got these two lipsticks. Test them up. One, this one is like a perfectly red, and this one's like a very deep red. And I take a little brush and a little bit of the lip colours, and I dab it around. So it looks um, a little raw and it also um, gives something for the eyeshadows to stick to because the lipstick is sticky. So that's the deep red colour. And the same brush you can take the purpley red and do the same. Um, another trick is to take a clear lip gloss. Um, have I got anything to show you? Take a clear lip gloss and put it on a little brush like this. And then add that. It makes um, the area look wet. And gooey, and it also helps the colours to like. I don't know if you can see, but it helps the colours to um, form, to, like, grip together. If you get me, how long have we been? Oh wow! Right then, I think we're gonna have to leave it at that. But the finishing touch. Um, sorry I've sort of tried to wash my way through, it doesn't look as good as um, I would have wanted it to, but I'll punk, put, punk, put, put a link underneath um, of a video I did recently of, um, and I'm wearing sort of scary makeup, and you can have a look at that to see what I did, because I've got a big scar there, and I've got, a, I think, a better looking bullet wound on my head. So I'll put the link under there, if you can watch that, and I've got to go now, so bye bye. Um, thank you for watching, look it's still going, thank you for watching this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave me a comment, and thank you, happy Halloween.